Hello, my name is Yvonne Montemuro. I'm the Assistant Vice President of Training and Development at YCS. I'm going to read a biography about Katherine Johnson, who was born in 1918 and died in 2020. Katherine Johnson was a mathematician who worked for NASA. Her calculations were critical to the success of the first crewed space fl flights. Katherine Johnson was born Katherine Coleman in 1918 in West Virginia. From an early age, she was gifted in math and science. She whizzed through school and completed eighth grade when she was only 10. The public school for black children in Katherine's community didn't go past eighth grade, so Katherine's parents sent her to a high school on the campus of West Virginia State College. She graduated high school at 14 and went on to attend West Virginia State University. She graduated magna cum laude with degrees in mathematics and French. Catherine later took a job at a, as a mathematician at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA. She was part of a segregated team of African-American women who worked as human computers checking male engineers' calculations for flight tests. Catherine and her team members were not allowed to eat with or use the same break rooms or restrooms as their white colleagues. Catherine was soon promoted to another department where she worked with white men. Many tried to discriminate against her, but she stood up for herself and her work. In 1958, NACA became the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. Catherine was part of a team doing calculations that would help send people into space. Her skills not only made the early space mission successful, but many times she was responsible for plotting the landing of space shuttles, keeping astronauts safe when they returned to Earth. NASA officials relied on Catherine's accuracy. She was essential to Apollo 11, the United States' first mission to the moon. Though NASA had started to use electronic computers, they still wanted Catherine to check the calculations. Astronaut John Glenn insisted on it. After a long, successful career at NASA, Catherine retired in 1986. Throughout her career, she dedicated her life to promoting science and mathematics to people of color. She has been recognized with several awards, including a Congressional Gold Medal, and in 2016, NASA formally renamed a research center in her name. To find out more about Katherine Johnson, and her years at NASA, you can watch the 2016 film Hidden Figures or read Hidden Figures Young Readers Edition by Margot Lee Shutterly.